All right, welcome to the Robert Show. I'm super excited. I'm here at Small Data SF. Uh, it's towards the end of the conference, but I have a special guest with me, Spencer, who's the co-founder of Astro Data. Super excited to be chatting with you, Spencer, and uh, kind of curious, uh, obviously, to learn a little about Astro Data, about yourself. Why are you here at SF, a Small Data SF? Yeah, thanks, and I'm really excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, I'm the co-founder of Astro Data. We're a full-service data consultancy focusing on embedded analytics, uh, specifically in the healthcare space. Um, I'm here because I have been really encouraged by what I've seen from some of the providers, uh, Mother Duck specifically, um, really like what they're doing, integrating client-side analytics into embedded applications. I think there's a lot of promise there. Right. So I came here to just kind of learn a little bit more about that and um, see if I can pick up any new patterns. Okay, that's uh, awesome. I'm kind of also wanting to learn a little about, you know, the embedded analytics. I know your company kind of does a lot in that space. So what are the major drivers for building embedded analytics application? Would you like to share something around that? Yeah, so um, the major driver is really data monetization. So companies realize that they have a bunch of data that they're sitting on. They could be making more money from either by selling it out to their market, their current customers, or even creating a new business line of new potential customers. Uh, there's a couple different ways that they might approach that. Um, one might just be outright selling the data, so providing you know maybe a lightweight application that gives customers access to it, maybe even just as simple as SFTP transfers. Mm -hmm. Could be even as complicated as a full-blown query builder that allows people to you know ask questions of their data in the same application that they're actually taking action. Um, so that's usually the main driver. Um, there are some kind of more subtle ways that companies might go about data monetization in general. So you know you can think about just selling data outright, but there's also ways to improve your product using data. Right. Right. So you might currently have a SaaS application that's surfacing you know a, a very useful workflow to your customers, but you also have additional data that you might be able to wrap into that product. And by doing so, you might create higher fidelity with your product, you might reduce churn, you might even be able to charge a new pricing tier just by adding that in and making your product more valuable. Okay, talking about value, obviously I'm pretty sure you also have customers who kind of face challenges around embedded analytics applications too. Would you like to share a little bit about the challenges and how do you kind of solve those and overcome, let your customers overcome those? Yeah, I would say that there's kind of two main categories of, of challenges that people face, both related to cost. Yes. Um, you know, the first is just actually building a, a, an application that scales with their pricing model. So finding the right tools to be able to have a pricing model that gives you some leverage as you increase your user base. You know, tools um, that have a linear pricing model are going to be tough to really find that good, like, leverage, scaled pricing model. You want to find tools that are more usage-based that allow you to increase a bunch of customers without, in, you know, increasing a linear amount of cost. So that's, that's one major category. The other is um, really about proving value to your customers. So having right. a mechanism for proving to your customers that you're actually adding value by giving them access to this data. Um, and that can be difficult to do. There's a number of ways to do it, but that's um, that I think is probably the second main challenge. Okay, that's fantastic. Uh, thanks for sharing that. I'm kind of also curious to learn a little about, you know, sometimes the customers or, you know, even the prospects, they're kind of looking for you to show us the value. Mm -hmm. How do you kind of focus on the value aspect when it comes to embedded analytics applications? Yeah, so, so one of the major ways that you can um, prove that your application is valuable to your customers is by getting closer to where they take action. Right. So you, let's say you have an application that allows customers to build cohorts of users, and then the intended goal is for them to be able to send those users off to, let's say, Braze for email marketing campaigns. Well, if you can build the integration into your application and prove that that is what's actually happening with the data that you're providing to your customers, then you can take that back to your customer and say, hey, look, like, you bought this tool to be able to do this, to take this action, and I can see that you're actually doing it. And that's that's proof of value. You're proving that your tool is actually fulfilling the intended goal. Right, right. I love it. And uh, also, just on this point, I'm kind of also wanting to know about the next newer trends that you're excited about. How do you kind of also, you know, see small data kind of coming into the game? Yeah, I mean, that's the main reason I'm here. So, yeah. Um, Traditionally, users of any application are going to have a pretty 
low tolerance for latency when it comes to interacting with their applications. Right. So you're a user and you expect sub-second response times for any, any type of interaction you have with your application. When it comes to data applications, that's much harder to achieve because a lot of the times what we're doing is we're performing pretty intensive analytical queries that just take a long time to both process and to transfer data payloads back over the wire. And so one of the things that I'm really encouraged by is this shift towards local query, client-side query, having a database be embedded into the browser mm -hmm. so that users can get much, much more responsive query times when they're actually you know, running large analytical queries. Um, I think that you know, the whole notion that small data um, is really the majority of the use cases is so true. Most companies don't have terabytes and terabytes and terabytes of data that they actually need to serve to an individual customer. So if you can figure out how to partition that data up and get it into a small enough state so that it can be client side and queryable client side, I think that opens up an entire new door in the embedded analytics space. So I'm really excited by that and um, yeah, just excited to be here and learn more. I'm excited as well, and uh, thanks for sharing those insights, uh, Spencer. One last question for you, if folks want to reach out to you, learn more about Astro Data, where can they do that? Is LinkedIn, Twitter, what's the yeah. best place? Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn, Spencer Taylor, um, astrodata.us, uh, those would probably be the best ways. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so you guys know where to reach out to Spencer, but Spencer, it's such a pleasure chatting with you today on The Rabbit Show. And, uh, very exciting conference, uh, Small Data SF. Uh, hope you enjoyed the rest of the conference. Thank you so much for having me. Awesome. Thank you very much.